soon. Right. Everybody go ahead and pull some cards and stuff. It's funny, everybody else is centered except Scott. You're doing like the Kilroy thing right there. You don't know why. Where do you want it to go? Down? A little bit. Yeah, that's good right there. Yeah. Eventually we'll get you a camera stand or maybe hang it from the fucking ceiling and shit. And when you're trying to see your monitor, you gotta have to look around the camera and then it'll fucking move so it keeps you centered. Oh, that'd be nice. You won't be able to see the monitor, but by God, we'll get a good view of you not being able to see it. I got a Spark of Divinity card. Hooray! Nice. If nobody else got any reds, then you're good. No reds. Check an essence. Oh. Oh. And Pete, we have to conclude your old business that you PM me about. Yes, which yes, are, because which I know. Yes, yes, um, none of them appear to have been posted up on the board yet. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha! Which, <laughs> assumably, they should be if others have already got them. The, the name pretty much tells you what you need to know on all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I was going to go up the tree. Up the tree here. I'll copy paste that yeah, for you. Defense. Copy and yes, exciting things have been happening whilst you've been out to sea as far as uh, uh, which trees people are now climbing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. All right. Now, you guys are currently, well, let, okay, first I'm going to give you the option because I know that for you guys, uh, free range is not your fucking forte. So <laughs> I can either stick you right on an adventure or if you're like, no, Logan, we want to do free range. Ah, you can free range. It's the it's your last, uh, well, except for Pete, it's your last mission of the season. So I'll give you the fucking uh, option because I got a mod ready to rock. But if you want a fucking free range, you're really into it. I'm good with that. There's plenty of shit to do, but it's up to you. Or if you just want to wander around and look at shit and go, look, it's all fucked up. Man. This is fucked up too, which sometimes PCs like to go do. Pete will be doing that tomorrow. Um, mm -hmm. As we... Uh, discussed in the message or whatever. There were a couple things that we wanted to get done before the end of the season, and then in that case, hopefully we can. Well, it depends on how much time we've got. Start them up. It's all about the yeah. time. But uh, you guys are sitting around in the. Well, yeah, I mostly ignore what people post because until it's game time, it doesn't mean much. Um, but you guys are sitting around in the embassy, dressed up in your fancy uh, cowboy outfits and such. You're here working and chatting and stuff going on. There's four guys in the same room as you, who are, uh, which is like the normal PC meeting room, that are playing poker. And then, like, one of them notices people are there and he kind of looks around and he, he doesn't see somebody, looks relieved, sees McKay, goes, Whoop! and he goes, Whoop! and the other guys go, Whoop! And the cards are fucking flying around and they, they're standing at attention and the cards are fluttering down behind them and they're like, um, they, they're looking under the chairs. No, Freddy? No. I'm Sorry, here. so are these beast kin or? No, or no, these look like, uh, young, or refugees? young refugees. Yep, okay. Uh, stress on the young part. These these are like uh, people who were born here. Yeah. They um, look around in a bit of confusion, and then the door opens, and the rhino-headed guard pokes his head in. You're Joshua McKay. 
<laughs> yes, very good. He nods in satisfaction at a job well done and withdraws and closes the door. It just it like it closes it just as the guards who are starting to walk out get to it and they just kind of stop and then they bump into each other and then they fucking manage to back up. We'll be we'll be going somewhere urgent. Yes, and yes they, you will. They they eventually manage to scurry out and whatnot. All right. So, is there a new? McKay's here. Number? McKay's here. Da, 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 da. A new what? Is there a new painting on the wall, Logan? There is. Let me put up a picture of it here for you guys because it's a lovely fucking picture. Thank you for reminding me, Pete. Please take a card as it's rather uh, noticeable. Obvious. Yes. It's it's a big fucking picture too. Oh, I get a check in essence as well. Let me just get rid of You that. get a check in essence. You get a check in essence. <laughs> Let's see. And reveal areas. And boom. <laughs> I was wondering uh, if it painting. was the ego. <laughs> I would like to point out that this is the ultimate picture to hang in a young child's room, so it's overlooking their bed. <laughs> and so possibly with some the lights that go up. <laughs> from... How fucking so, cool would that be? So yeah. I suppose the question is, does it actually have Freddy's face instead of Vigo's face? Um, I, it, it looks a bit closer to Freddy than it maybe once did. It, it, yeah, yeah, but I mean, it's it's still a long way from Freddy. Mm. Oh. And we're fine. Yeah, everything's <laughs> fine. All right. Yes, when he said about the painting, uh, that, that was the first thing that popped into my head. Oh, you should have seen the other players. They're like, it's Vigo, it's Vigo, hello Vigo, hello. <laughs> Except for Freddy, he's like, what the fuck is going on? That's <laughs> what happens when you play with older people. It's like, ah, oh, yeah. hey, these fucking old people jokes. Yes, he would not have... Well, I don't know. After all the other times referencing various things from Ghostbusters, I, maybe he would have watched it by now. But no, no, I, I, I think he's busy watching uh, soulless movies that were made to uh, remakes of remakes and shit. Mm -hmm. uh, card question for you. I have the man with unexpected connections. Oh. So it's a Clumptire City own choice. So for the Courts of Chaos, oh. would is there a bit, you know is there a particular term I would use, or do I just say Courts of Chaos? Can you read the card for me? You are acclimatized in any one city of your choice. Courts of Chaos. Yeah, it's fucking yep. brilliant. I just wanted to confirm before doing just, that. Just so you know, there's a lot of very specific, very difficult skills that go in with that. Uh, to give you an idea, you are of course familiar with uh, the Chinese Imperial Court in a vague sort of way, yes? All the yeah, bureaucracy, yeah. all the different stations and all. Of course, the Chaos yeah, yeah, yeah. has been doing it the same amount of time, possibly longer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're more into more complicated shit. So, uh, yeah. Ties, locations. Yeah. There, if the if a year doesn't have at least five digits in it, it's not a good year. All right. So, do you need to take care of stuff here? I don't know. That's one of the things I need to find out because... There's the so last much time I was on. here, the shit was hitting the fan, and so much the shit. cas the castle had been taking a lot of damage. Such a big fan. Uh, 
Right. And um, there was, yeah, I wasn't sure as to what the political state of the city was. As in, if the governor had survived, etc. My understanding, things have settled now. There's no longer... Um, the door burst open and your son no one going on. is standing there looking fairly wild-eyed. He glances around and goes, Hi, how are you? Can you come with me? <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, great. He whisks McKay off, and as he's going out, uh, people are coming in with, like, uh, push carts of drinks and food and stuff like that. Cut to... Three hours later, McKay comes back in. He's still signing shit as he's walking and stuff. <laughs> and people are like holding up things, and he's like, and he staggers back to his chair. He's holding. He's given like uh, two kids come in and fucking. Or actually, he's he's doing the adult walking where they're grappled onto your legs, and he's got one on each leg, and they're like his grandkids. He's going. <laughs> He sits back down. The kids are like just babbling nonstop gibberish at him, and he's going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But uh, yes, people have been um, uh, what's it called? Uh, missing you and your microphone. <laughs> yes. So, uh, what is the political situation in Gothic? In sorry, Beeskins and Angel San Angeles after things have settled. Well, it's. Uh, you're sixth in line to the uh, uh, governorship, but they are working hard on keeping you out of it to the point where they're working on electing people and stuff to step in Good because, uh, A, they don't want you to make it a hereditary thing and then have some elf on there. Use the same tone as Southerners did with the horrible mm -hmm. N-word, mm -hmm. right? You get me. And uh, racism. It's it's everywhere. Uh, but here, right. I was... I was going to try and steer it down the diplomacy, sorry, yeah. the democracy path. Yeah, yeah, it's it a very good reason to keep you out of there. Anyway, can't let <laughs> women vote. Oh my God, no. Actually, they do let women vote here. They're ahead of us by a long way. Yeah, um, I was going to say, because, yeah, their military was both sexes, so I'm assuming yeah, women also uh, had Yeah, here it's, it's pretty much uh, women women do whatever, and they occasionally may or may not have children, and people don't give a shit. They don't try to regulate the women constantly, like they do in our world. Hooray! Um, but uh, the as far as the situation here... Uh, some bad shit happened when uh, weird things were going on mm -hmm. and like there was a fucking airliner that crashed nearby and then the the doors when they were here because now two thirds of all the people are missing from here. You know where oh, they're really? at but they are not here and nobody outside of the embassy knows where they're gone. They're just gone. Hopefully you remember where they are because... Well, maybe or maybe not. You get told anyway. But um, so they stripped down the airliner pretty much to nothing. And so that's why, like, they have drinks trolleys and shit here now. They're the airliner yeah. ones are really narrow. And they're like, so oh, where yeah. did two thirds of the doors go? Because we had, there was over a thousand people here. Oh, I wasn't aware of them leaving. Uh, they, they have gone to uh, uh, help covertly and overtly feed the people in Gothic in order to. Uh, keep the city from rioting. It has yeah. the. Uh, it's, I know. It, some, I know some had gone there, but there was like over a thousand people yeah. here. So well, I'm assuming Ellen, when you Ellen, said two thirds, that's like seven hundred people. Ellen is happy to come in and give you a, a briefing with these other two because neither of them looks like Freddie. Although yes. he does check because he's not convinced that uh, the, the uh, man who's with you isn't Freddy. So he has to look for seams for a mask and stuff. But um... no, I'm pretty <laughs> sure Glenn's not Freddy. Mm, totally I don't know. I've only known Glenn a few years, but Freddy is eternal pain, he says. <laughs> also, something up with Freddy. People kind of were wary of him before because, you know, he would light things on fire and do stupid shit and... He looks at his fucking hand, and you you see like the red light, and you can hear the screams, and he's like <laughs> shakes it off, and he says, and other things, mm -hmm. but now they seem to actively dislike him a lot, 
and I don't know why he's not changed. Strikes me as odd, he says. I'm suspicious of odd. Anyway, he comes in. He, he says, uh, yes, hello. It's, it's good to see you. Uh, you're um, Dana and you're the Glenn, the guy who's always in a trench coat, even on hot days. <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, Dad has told me you guys might be interested in the status. Also, I'm here to answer any questions you have. Um, is the food and drink to your liking? If not, we can go butcher a pig or something. You don't eat meat, though, so we'll butcher very humanely. And here's some uh, carrots. Yeah, yeah, uh, non-pig related <laughs> Celery. things. Yeah, they bring. They have a lot of different. They have actual rabbit-headed people here, so they're they they're down with the vegetarian feasting. So yeah, you get. A lot of cleverly prepared vegetarian food is made available to you. So he says uh, he perches on. He kind of sits like somebody who's always busy and is making himself stay uh, still. He gets the nannies to come in and take his sister's kids, his niece, and nephew, who he fucking spoils when he can away <laughs> so that the adults can talk they're like grandma and you know they get drag off to whatever fucking toy filled dungeon children are exiled to <laughs> rooms of toys and they're like i hate it here <laughs> so yeah possibly because everyone right. got ipads so yep i was aware that we were we need a food we... in gothic Yes, so although we've got so stuff going we, on there. We, sorry? We have we have things going on there, although um, how how much do you trust these two in specific? He points at the two uh, people with you. Uh, more than Freddy. Well, yeah, uh, can you give me a, a scale from <laughs> one to ten with Freddy being a one? <laughs> All right, I'll go with 10 for the moment simply because really? I haven't done anything stupid that I'm aware of. Oh, he looks impressed. <laughs> and he, <laughs> he says, okay, um, essentially all of the, the, he makes sure that the door's locked and checks the windows and such. He comes back, sits down, he says, all the doors here are kind of like uh, a spy ring of sorts. Uh, they're, they're not doing it against the uh, the immortals as they call uh the adventuring doors like you guys but they are doing it because they are trying to protect themselves by knowing stuff and mm -hmm. manipulating things so that they're not messed with and all that like self-preservation mm -hmm. yes yep so and they've gotten rather good at it okay um i don't but the Immortals are rather, uh, most of them are rather, uh, they, they, they're like capricious deities, like Kinley, for example. I mean, he may, if you have a monster problem and point him at it, he'll go kill it without a second thought. But uh, he may also steal all your alcohol, have sex with your, your uh, sister, and... Uh, steal your horse without thinking about it because he simply needed a horse and rode off on one in order to go kill the monster. Capricious deities. Not evil, not good, just doing their own thing. So they don't really mm -hmm. trust the door as much, if that makes sense. Yes, however, I was, it, it's interesting because the... The original, the original refugees that came here are, strictly speaking, Doras as well. They they are, but they're not really adventuring Doras. They don't see themselves no, no. as adventurers. No. They see themselves more as refugees and people mm -hmm. just trying to make a quiet living. Whereas yep. you guys are pretty much out doing weird shit and all that. And so, uh, and there's a fairly large group of you doing it. So... They are cautious of it. It's not like you guys... Plus, you disappear for large stretches of time, mysteriously. Yes. And they don't yes. know where you are, but they don't. So this confuses them as well. 
Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to let you know that you're the only three that know about this. So if okay. I, word gets out, I'll blame the other two. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so anyway, uh, the others are doing things like uh, they're they're they they're using some of their own money and stuff to buy food, and then they're selling it, but not at exorbitant prices uh, to make a profit, and then they're turning that profit into. Uh, buying up other things that because they don't want to live in that zone and also they got a no. weird rule about rotating positions they want everybody to know everything eventually and so they they are rotating positions fairly regularly and so is Darius and Claire still in charge or has somebody yeah. else stepped up oh yeah no they are they are some clever clever fuckers so yeah they they're very very good at their uh jobs um yeah it's almost like the one person who got split in the two or whatever i had never been married he says i wouldn't know about that but they they seem to work very well together they uh yeah but i wanted to let you know about that because i don't yeah. their interests trump your interest because a lot of the uh other adventuring doras are pretty much thinking this is our workforce and no you know in I've a way it is. is but they're also doing their own thing and all that yeah 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 i, yeah. I heard I've, i mean that... i've always i've always looked at it from the point of view if they are interested in assisting and can i'm happy mm -hmm. for them to do so but i don't expect them to do so well i i heard wrestling rad make a comment about it and he said as long as i get my cut i don't give a shit what they did which i think is very healthy because mm. yeah. you know he, he he's he's business guy so yes what questions do you guys have about things that are going on here i only know pretty much here everything else is rumor and innuendo because they don't really brief me on things outside of here Okay, so do you know the flow through the food that's getting to Gothic? Is it coming from here or is it coming from elsewhere? Uh, very little from here because we've had food problems and whatnot. Plus, the mm -hmm. price of chickens here has really gone up. It's, mm -hmm. it's it used to be like um, I think three for a dollar, and now they're selling them for like seventy five cents each. So that's quite a fucking increase. And yeah. they haven't bought that many, but they're like, ooh, dumb out of counters buying up our chicken in Australia, you know. Plus, we're eating a lot just here. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just with the amount of people we've got here. Mm. Yeah. Heard they're selling them in Guri, I think, but don't know yes. much about Guri. Haven't been to Guri. Not really interested in going to Guri. Heard it's all tech yeah. and stuff, and I'm not comfortable with tech. Yes, it is all tech. And Although they do have a lot of alien women there, I was told, and that might be interesting to go look at. <laughs> Just to yes. see, for academic purposes, Dad. Of course. Yes. Unfortunately, due to the size of it, um, yeah, I don't know. Get Getting there is tricky. Ah. I thought they were just using the barber shop. Yes, but you cannot use the barber shop unless you suddenly can use the barber shop, which would be very nice. Not have. yet, but I was hoping that maybe you'd found a way to make that work. That would really no, help I'm, my love ooh. life. Yes, I'm. It is something. I mean, I can't. I can't have relations with anybody here because that looks like favoritism and stuff. And mm -hmm. but I have in the past. Now I can't, and that makes it super awkward. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Because when I was going to visit them in Kinleyville, that was one thing. Have you been to Kinleyville mm -hmm. recently? Do you know what's going on with any of that? The last time was that, no, I, it's been ages, basically, when we were looking into um, some other stuff. Ah, well, busy, busy, he says. Yes, as you've seen from the paperwork I needed you to sign and whatnot, it does create quite a backlog, but... Fortunately, the the pace of things in the colony of San Angeles is rather slow because it takes 
like a month or more to get instructions from Genovia. So things mm -hmm. can slide for a while. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, so Genovia, this is still considered a colony of Genovia. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, we're basically here to gather resources and whatnot and then ship them back to Genovia so they can eventually throw off the yoke of the, yoke of the tyranny of Westmead, although Westmead, I've heard, is being overrun by the Isotrox. Yeah. So, I had heard something about there being potentially Isotrox. There's a lot of uh, now displaced uh, West Medellinians living mm -hmm. in Genovia. Okay. So, but in good news, we've recently got some cuttings of pears that are trying to breed the Genovian pear here. He prattles on at length about that until he sees that he's the only person who gives a shit about the Genovian pear and he stops. So, it's rather tasty, he says. What no, questions do you guys have? If the anyway? transplant works. All right. Um, do you guys have any questions? Shortest briefing ever. Great. I don't think so. <laughs> All right. Um, if you had any uh, uh, weird attacks lately? Ah, can, you're gonna you're coming in on a weird thing here. You're really gonna have to isolate down as to what you call weird. I mean, we we've had oh, uh, never mind. we we had a, a some sort of spaceship come and suck up a couple of people up and fly away. We had a cow that was trying to jump over something and it accidentally kept going. Apparently, forgot how to land. <laughs> Um, we we had a 747 a that, crash that, nearby. It's quite interesting. Yeah, especially for the cow. It was absolutely terrified. I mean, it wasn't going that fast, so they did try to lasso it, but it was out of range. Well, but, the, because the cow and because I've got the fiddle from that, and but that was in Gothic. I'm not sure what you mean, Dad. <laughs> There's a it's a nursery there's a nursery rhyme about a cow trying to jump over the moon and a cat and a fiddle singing hey diddle diddle. He just stares does a long stare at you like are you on drugs? Um, but the cow ended up there was a cow that ended up embedded in um, Gothic. It's interesting that it's Is happened it here cow? as well. Don't know. Okay. It wasn't a beast kin. It wasn't a beast kin. It was an actual animal cow. Well, I've heard weird things on the voyage happen that may change people between here and Genovia. Really? I hadn't heard that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, they don't seem to notice it. Some of the doors went on the boat and they said that uh, they were beast kin and then they all changed into like human looking things and then they were, were in Genovia and everybody looks human. Interesting. No yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, initially I thought you knew that... about that because uh, uh, I, rumor has it that Alex Kinley was having sex with Princess Danny who was like a lion lady and then on the boat she turned into a human lady and so he had more sex with her and then they docked to Genovia and I think he wandered off and there's rumors she got pregnant or something and then the well, kingdom got it, overthrown. It appeared that they were two separate worlds. They were like parallel dimensions. One ah. where the people were beast kin and one where the people were human. Ah, I wouldn't know. I, I thought they changed, but I'm not sure. Maybe no, it's well, both. I, I believe it appeared that they were parallel dimensions from what we could see, but it's interesting that they actually change. Because Doc Fulton and I encountered Princess Danny, the, what was she, lioness version of her near Genovia. And hmm. 
I don't know. Maybe um, it gets changed really near the, Genovia. You know, I'm not sure. When a flying pyramid that we were on crashed on top of that, he says, "Iso trucks." He looks at he looks at Glenn and goes, "Weird like a flying pyramid, weird, or weird like a flying <laughs> cow, weird, or weird like we had a bullet that, that was that quite a, that was from quite a while ago. Once. That was in early days that that happened." I mean, Forget I said anything. Okay. <laughs> and, as in that, that, that was when that was yeah that was when Princess Danny left here. Why is that painting like staring at after you? After she left here or something. Um, I don't know. There's some possess possess thing type thing. Whether or not it's linking to Zog again or something. What kind else. of idiot made that painting? I I'm not even going to say guess. Oh God damn it! He says. <laughs> Can't we just have one fucking uh, uh, year go by without Freddy fucking doing something? Just one year. Oh, yes, it would be nice. Um, was has there been? Did we have any more human refugees or elf refugees turn up? Uh, every now and then, uh, um, uh, the other adventuring doors come and toss them on the pile because. Apparently, that's our job is to take in anybody that gets rescued, whether they think they belong here, whether they can speak any language we can speak or anything. They just toss them on the pile and go, here you go. Just like their treasure. They just give it to me and go, put it in the vault. And then do they want it? No. Is it gathering dust? Yes. Is there enough shit down there to equip a large contingent of troops and maybe have them become effective fighters? Yes. Do they want that done? Mm -hmm. No, they want it in a vault where it's safe. And then what do they do? They interrupt me while I'm like out trying to uh, win the friendship of the town by helping to rebuild their fucking shattered mm -hmm. castle. And they, we need something from the vault. And I'm like, what do you need? And they're like, a flashlight. And I'm like, come on, buy a new flashlight. And they're like, well, we like this flashlight. And then they make me fucking go down there. It takes a fucking half an hour to get down there. And I'm the only one allowed down there because... I'm worried that things might go missing or something, and more people are allowed down there, other than the guards and stuff. That are, and we've got I've got traps installed, some of which I put in myself and all that. Yeah, I'll have to show you those. Don't go down there without yeah. me. <laughs> but holy shit, the most petty, stupid shit ever. And then they keep using the same petty shit, and I'm like, there's a bank. Go put it in a bank deposit box, and they're like. I don't know why I spent them twenty dollars. I'm like, give me a why are you fucking and I'm busy too. I'm writing fifteen hundred people when we've got them here. I'm making sure all the plus all the school teaching things and they're sending reports and I have to read and sign off. I need you to go get a suit for me in the thing because I don't have another suit. And I'm like eh. Constantly. Anytime they come here, they want something. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they don't thank me. They're just like, fuck off. And they take it and leave. And then um, they come back and go, put it back. I didn't need it after all. Do, just do we have pissed. space to set up non-super secure vault? Uh, we've got a lot of people. And as I said before, with the thing where they're kind of in their own thing, not for you, that is a big yeah. applying thing. I, yep, I, yep, yep. Okay. Yep. I, I would recommend okay. setting one up yourselves and having people being responsible for it and stuff. What about the, the uh, I heard that you guys have a big bar that's constantly manned and stuff, but uh, again, you're dealing with uh, people from here that are running it and it comes down to how much do you trust them? Mm -hmm. I trust them to a certain degree, but yeah. with yeah. my money or my wife type thing, I don't know about that. So, who's to say that uh, they might not find their own place because they do have a few explorers. They might find their own place and one day all your shit's gone and so are they. We don't know. They're out for themselves. They'll help you as long as it's advantageous to them as well. But yeah. they're, you know, they're human. Most, they've got, they got self-interests. Yes. No, we are putting in a vault in the Gothic, but I haven't been anywhere there to check on it yet. Yeah. Uh, on the other hand, uh, how is it locked? 
how difficult is it to get into? Yep. You guys sometimes no disappear for weeks at a time. If you give somebody weeks, will they be able to break into it? You know, what kind of guards do you have there? Do you yeah. trust the guards? Yeah. These are things that are not thought of, he says. Okay. Um... Okay, so that's going on. Is there any pressing needs or anything here at the moment? Uh, you At that point, you hear a lot of pounding on the door and high-pitched squealing and stuff, and then you hear a uh, lot and then you hear, nah! They really missed you, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, when, I'm, when we disappear, we have no control over it. Yes. Well, I, I, I don't know what causes it, but I tell them that you're off fighting yeah, the forces of evil or something. I mean, yes, we do go to other world, other zones, etc., trying to, well, stop some of the shit that's going on. Yeah, you might want to spend the rest of the day with them and get a good fresh mm -hmm. start tomorrow or something. Because otherwise, yep. uh, we're going to have to lock them in the soft toy room for a day just to calm them down. <laughs> yep. It's the only way, he says. We're keeping them away from Freddy as well. Good. Yeah. And there's just no telling what will happen if you put them together. Keep them away from that painting. All right. <laughs> its eyes really do seem to follow you, he says. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm going to try something as well with it. He says, why would he hang it up here? Yeah. <laughs> he was possessed or something. I think... Then you want to put a... You said you just wanted to put a sheet over it. Yeah. Done. <laughs> something to try. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll have a seat, sheet sent in for you then. Uh... Cool. Is there anything else that I can do for you? Uh, no. Is oh, Darius and Claire are about somewhere, are they? Uh, no, they are off uh, taking care of things in the uh, Golden Lotto zone. Oh, okay. Place. They're actually over at Golden Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's, there's a lot going on. They're mobilizing a thousand people to feed the fucking 10,000 people there. But they're okay. trying to do it kind of on the down low because, like, several people have died trying to feed people just by getting mobbed. So, yeah. They, that place is a friggin' hotbed. Be real careful there because I, uh, you guys look pretty well fed compared to the rest of their population. So is it because of the magic? Do you know if it... If it's because of the Magitech failing that they're having issues with farming, or is there? I'm not an expert on, on that zone, but I believe uh, having your tools start to only work uh, a third of the time as opposed to all the time might be something to do with it. Okay. Really, super erratically, all of a sudden. But again, I'm not an expert on that place. No, no, no. I wasn't. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't 100 percent sure how reliant they were on for farming purposes on Magitech. I think super reliant on it for everything. Sounds that way. Yeah, yeah. I you might want to. There's a guy named uh, uh, Zyke. He is a, uh, one of the doors from here. Uh, okay. you, you might recognize him if you see him. Good guy. Um, he is a manager over at the Golden Lotto. Oh, by the way, I don't want you to misconstrue what I, I said later. I got a lot of friends among them and stuff, but, yeah, yeah. you know. No, no, I'm not misconstruing what you're saying. I can understand where they're coming from as well. Oh, sure. Well, um, I mean. Because some of, some of the others seem to, as you say, some of the others see them as, uh, what's, I can't think what the word is, ba basically just sees them as nameless people they can use. Yeah. Well, I, I was thinking uh, it, it might be a really good idea sometime because we have a lot of shit that's just taking up a lot of space and gathering a lot of dust. Why not uh, uh, have a big giveaway 
uh, to those guys is like a thank you for helping us out or something like that, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, figure out something like that and, uh, you know, gift them a bunch of the shit you don't need. Cause you know, how many, how many extra swords or blasters or whatever do you need down yeah, there? Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, yeah, you might be arming future adversaries, but, uh, by arming them, it could make them future friends as well. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, with Darius and Claire at least, I think there has been a good relationship, whether or not that's changed over the time because of some of the stuff that's happened, I don't know. But I'll tell you, the the uh, a lot of the other adventuring doors have definitely put your relationship with them under strain. And mm. plus a lot of the things that have gone on, like Kinley punching a Dwarvish ambassador through two buildings. <laughs> Yes, yeah. I mean, they they used to be they yeah. used to help hold Alex on a pedestal as such, but yeah, I think that pedestal's sure been really the case anymore. Down. Yeah, no, no, he's he, he's now. Uh, I mean, uh, I've heard him compared to uh, somebody. I don't know who Loki is, but I've heard that comparison mm -hmm. made, yeah. it, so maybe that means something to you. I don't know. Yes, yeah, he's a god from well. Actually, trickster. Yes, he's a trickster. But um, I don't know. Are you familiar with the concept of gods? I'm not sure from your yeah. Those, MMO, those guys have these thought, people, well, they've explained it to you. I, I got explained it, uh, but in a very I got to explain like you guys were actually gods, and then there's other gods who are more powerful but less present. And the most powerful ones you never saw at all. And they didn't do anything. I said, what's the fucking point? And they said, it gives people hope. And I said, oh, really? And then they said, and an excuse to wage war on other people who are getting hope from their gods. And I said, that's it, stupid. It was oft, also often a way of explaining stuff that happened that people didn't understand because their knowledge of science was very basic. Like, why is it raining? Why did the crops fail? Why is there lightning? Oh. It must be the gods are angry, you know, that sort of stuff. Didn't have any scientific method shit going on? Not back not back then. And then, yeah, even with high technology, there's still people that, for whatever reason, believe in deities. Right. Family dinner tonight, say it around yep. nine. All right. Sounds good. Cool. He nods to you too, and he says, I'll have that sheet sent in, and he leaves. The sheet arrives in 10 minutes. Some, uh, uh, a guy, Furry, who's like one of the household, like a maid type thing, he comes in and he goes, order the sheet. It's a beautiful sheet. He's showing off the sheet. Look at the sheet. He's like a nice. fox-headed guy. Sheet, ole. Yeah. It's a big red sheet. He goes, hey, you want the sheet? Who wants the sheet? Yeah, pass the sheet to Glenn, please. Uh, he, gives, he gives him the sheet and he goes, here you go. And he goes... Thank you. Is there anything else I can help you with? Not at the moment. Thank you very much. He heads out, closes the door behind him. You He's get... probably going to go tell his friends that he got to deliver a sheet to you, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some of the people hold the, the ambassador and uh, some of the doors in very high regard. Others are abandoned parts of the building when the doors are said to be um, there. It depends on which doors are there. Okay, so sure. are, you two, are you two aware of the talk of overthrowing the government in Gothic? Nope. Right. Nope. So some people uh -huh. have been talking to me on the side about overthrowing the government in Gothic. Ooh. Yeah, get some tea. Are these people Doras? Immortals? Our group. Okay. Others, some others, well, a particular individual actually in our group, but I won't name names at the moment. But yes, um, I'm not sure if it's a good idea myself because I don't. Well, my question to the individual was, well, we get, you know, how we don't know how much the military is, as in, it, did they just come in on top and the rest of the bureaucracy stayed? And if you get rid of the military, who do you, get, who do you put in place? The previous, yeah. the previous people that were ruling, you can't put them back in place. Just no, the really any changes going to be for the better. 
and but also the yeah. fact that they're you know they're the reason they were in charge was because they were the most powerful mag magic users spellcasters which no longer the case but yes anyway that just as an aside when we're speaking of things about gothic we haven't been aware of gothic happening haven't been there lately no. Well, the only, I only know about things like the food situation and stuff from what's been posted on our boards, on our yeah. communication channels. Mm -hmm. uh, we're on the same page then. So what have you two been up to? <laughs> um, let's see. Saved a lady and little kids from a crushed building. <laughs> And that's pretty much the most important thing we've done lately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we did a case on Voris that I don't know if we can tell you about. Mm -hmm. And... Can you remind me in general? Uh, Champ? Let me check. Right. I think Pete's done about double check. Mm. I've done several cases in Boris, but yes, Champ does not. Let me look does here. Not ring bell. Mm. Yep. Okay, never mind. Um, we did a thing out in the wilderness here that I don't know if I can tell you about. Yeah. <laughs> Which one was it? To, was it to do with John's uh, John's town? Um, there no. was a skeleton a rumor. Of and, a cave okay. in and a bush. Okay, no, I don't think I've I'm, I've done that one either. Um, See what happens when you go on vacation? You miss out on all the best yes. missions. <laughs> um, and but none of those got, is. It wasn't involved in investigating a lighthouse at all? Nope. Yep. No, no. Don't think they've done that one yet. No. That's why I was just stated the lighthouse. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing more. Mm -hmm. Well done. Um, I like it. We're all getting our time traveler yeah. journal done. Like, okay, which... Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Spoilers. <laughs> right. Uh, Back when Dr. Who didn't suck. <laughs> I uh, did some exploration in the fog jungle Vietnam yeah, not, zone. Now you can okay, tell yeah, all about been, it if you want. I've not been to that place at all. So it sounds sounds a bit different to what we've encountered from the bits that I've read on the boards. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was very different. Feel free to disclose anything you want about that. Um, everything's in French. So mm -hmm. that sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> America! Just inherently? <laughs> I mean, they almost executed me because I couldn't speak French. Okay. Oh, hold on a second. Sheila, um, tap your microphone for me. That's why you're echoing. It's not coming through there. It's coming through your other one. I don't know. It's coming through your, speak, your um, camera. Ah. I was like, why is she yeah. sounding distant and echoey? I'm fading. <laughs> so it's medieval tech, unlimited mm -hmm. magic. Sheila, go into but, Jitsi um, and the, um, sorry to interrupt, Scott. Go into Jitsi and there's uh, a more actions, three little dots in the lower right hand part of the screen. And then go to settings, cogwheel, and it allows you to choose which microphone. So settings and then devices, first tab. On Jitsi. Do you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm going to try. I think I had um, something a little twenty open still too, so I'll show uh -huh. you that. 
Yeah, if you if you still got shit working in row twenty, then that may be messing with it. Okay. Did this change anything? No. No. I have microphone under default microphone. I have audio output as speakers. As opposed to your headphones. Headphones is not an option for the audio output. You, you want the audio input to change to the headset. Yeah. Seems like it is, but if only there was someone in this house who's more familiar with these style of programs. <laughs> well, it should be but easy. He's so far away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it should be easy enough in Jitsi that just that. Settings and then choose. Well, there's four choices that all say microphone. Oh, okay. They don't. They don't have a description next to them. <laughs> oh. Logitech. That one. Door number three. Oh, that was the wrong button. Play a test sound. Don't do that one. <laughs> that is not. Okay. Whoa, mm. yeah, here we go. Yep. Am I back? Have I materialized? Day and night. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and yes, you appear to be coming through your headset mic now. I would find a way Thank to... Thank you. I'd find a way to kill off the... <laughs> I'd find a way to kill off the uh, camera forever because... The camera mic forever because, God, this one sounds so much better. It's freaky. Okay. As Scott once again fucking shows why he's needed, yes. <laughs> That's what I'm good for. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll do. Right. So, we were talking about the Pog people. Vietnam. Mm hmm. That's the name I gave it, just because it's the jungle place where they speak French. It seems to be colonized. Um, anyway, it's like medieval tech. They have unlimited magic, but if they see you doing magic, they'll try to arrest you or kill you. Okay, so all their magic is done via devices as opposed to people. Yeah, who... yeah they have um, minor magic items. They're not uncommon they're powered by the fog and each time you use one there's a chance it'll go poof and if you take them out of the zone they'll go poof okay so we kind of went in blind and uh i did a spell that arrested us dragged us off oops and uh had to defend myself even though i didn't know french very well i know french a lot better now i gained a lot of points <laughs> um dumb. so eventually i just made up an excuse like I, I had one of the magic items under my shirt and it went poof <laughs> nice did they believe you uh yeah yeah they let me walk away oh uh, good well obviously you're here but then again you could have escaped or done something yeah we could have We, we could have trumped out at uh, a few points, but decided to stick it out. They bravely stuck around, which was cool. Oh, yeah, they've got their own money and economy and all that going on. I've actually got a trump, if you want to see it. Okay. Something to keep in mind once we've dealt with everything else we wanted to deal with. Yep.
before we get distracted. Yeah. Um, do, do, do either of you know how to row a boat? Row a boat? Hmm. Yes. It's not very complicated, is it? I don't know. It depends on if you know how to do it or not. Oh, what kind people, of boat? <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen people, a boat that usually wouldn't need two people to row it. So, not not a huge um, boat or anything. I've done like a gondola or a sailboat. Yeah, yeah the, the, the gondola and that would probably cover it off. I mean, it's... Right. More, more than a hobby, I guess. Yep, kind of, that might work then. Do you know how to sing, Dana? Do I know how to sing? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, are we talking about singing well? No. If I'm, if I'm pretty lucky mm -hmm. and it's in the right key of obscuria, yes. Okay. Because depending on how we go, one of the things I'd like to do is try and get back to the halfway in and oh. I know and by using the method that I originally managed to get there and it, it's basically there's a boat requires two people rowing and one person singing <laughs> interesting yes I can wear a half mask well I can pull that off <laughs> So it, there's, it, it's in the sewers of disappointment, despair, whatever you want to call them. There's a large, there's like a hundred meter climb we have to climb down to get to where the boat is. And then with tours rowing, somebody else singing, and then that allows us to travel. Well, the last time, that's how we managed to get the first time, get to the halfway in before they gave us chalk, etc. So I was wanting to test it to see if that would get us there again. Does the chalk not work anymore? Nope. Well, I don't know right now, but the last couple of times I'm aware of people tried it, it has not. Hmm. But I don't know how long ago since they've tried it. Pete, give me an evidence analysis role, please. 